In this video, we're going to show you how to pull in data from a spreadsheet. You can store the spreadsheet in one central location under your files and have it accessed by any workflow and even other users on the account. Some people call this a lookup table or a reference table. For example, let's say I have a list of attorneys here and I want to load my spreadsheet of attorneys to the system here. I want to store their names and email addresses and phone numbers bar numbers, and a bunch of other information inside of this spreadsheet. And this data could change from time to time when I remove attorneys or add them to the list. I want to simply be able to select their name, their first and last name from a drop down in my workflow and have that data, all of this data populate into all of my documents. So I'll give you an example of how we will do this. We need to first save this spreadsheet as a CSV file. I'll go to File, Export, and however it works in your document, and export it as a CSV file. Once I've exported my document as a CSV file, then I can bring it into Gavel. I will go to Files, and I'll go to CSV Files. This is where I will upload that CSV document. I'll click on Upload New CSV, and I can drag in that file or select it. Here we'll get a list of possible errors but as long as it says the data below is okay, okay to proceed with, you can ignore those. Next, I will configure my CSV file. So I will name the CSV file here, and I will choose whether or not this file contains private data. We can designate whether or not this spreadsheet has private data, which will determine whether it is accessible to all members of the public or just members who I designate this spreadsheet for. For example, you may have a list of courts or states, and that would be very public and you would want that to be able to access, be accessed by any workflow. However, if you have more sensitive information, for example, if you have an internal list of attorney, you may not want everyone taking your workflows to have access to that data. So it, it allows you to set that as private data. If the contains private data box is checked, only builders and admin level users will be able to move through the workflow that has this data. Next, your spreadsheet needs to have a unique column, a column that has all unique data. It should also have a display column. So the display column is what's going to show up as you start searching in your dropdown. In this case, I just want name and phone number to appear. Perhaps those are the pieces of data that the person filling out the workflow are going to know. Then you can fill in the searchable columns. These are all of the columns that the question is going to search from when you're using the dropdown. So you may still want to allow people to search by, say, address, even though that's not going to be part of the display in the question. Then I will save this. And now it's added to my list of CSV files. Now I'll go over to one of my workflows. This is my basic letter workflow, and I will pull in this spreadsheet by creating a CSV question. So I have a question here that's called, well, who is the attorney? And I will set the question type to CSV data source. Then I will fill out the variable name information, and then I will grab the CSV file that we just uploaded. Here it's going to allow me to choose from everything that's in my files And I'm looking for the one that I just uploaded, which was attorney list MB, and I'll grab that. I've added a few other basic questions to this workflow because I know I'm going to want them in this engagement letter that I'll be creating. Then I will save my workflow, and I will go over to the Word document. Now the next thing I want to do is set it up inside of my document. So I'll go over to my engagement letter document and I know I want to insert the law firm information right here. So I'll just go ahead and start adding some simple variables. I know that I want my attorney's name to be here, so I'll go grab that. The way that this is written is that this right here is the variable that we named in the workflow. See right here, attorney info. And this is the column of the spreadsheet, which will take name. So it's pulling this. After I've added the name, I can add any other simple variables that I have. So I can add in bar number, in 
an address, and on another line, I'll put in address two and phone. Now, when I load this over to my output documents and run this workflow, all that information is going to be filled in. So now I've gone ahead and clicked run, and then I can start information for my attorney, Lulu Johnson. I can search for her, or I could choose another attorney. How about Jin? And fill in the rest of the information. Whichever attorney's name that I pull in, their information will be populated into my document. And as I make changes to that spreadsheet, additional attorneys may appear or not appear on the list that comes down here based on those changes I make in the future. Now when I get to my output document, I see the parts that I filled in up here, which were I chose Jim Love's name and all of the rest of his information has been outputted here.